Mancini. She's um, also one of our network volunteers. And I have, I'm going to see if I can do this. This is high tech for me. Share my screen and show you a few slides and give you a little background about who we are. We're a fairly recent um, member of the, of, of the chamber. And this is actually my second networking session. The first one was, I think, our last one that was face to face at, um, and then, and, and now uh, Liz asked us if we wanted to, to present here. So let me just give you some quick facts about our network. Uh, we were, we're a nonprofit. We've been around since 2013. You can always get more information about us at, on our website. Our mission is to promote an economically, ecologically, and socially healthy community. And we like to connect people. That's our main thing is there, there are other organizations, Hunger Fighters, uh, Oswego Lake, uh, Watershed Council that are doing great things. And we like to connect those and to, to really make a better future for our community. We've got about 800 people on our network newsletter and we're organized around different areas and action teams. And then we collaborate with partners. Um, a little bit more about us, the, what is sustainability? There are lots of definitions out there. What we use is this sustainability framework for our decision-making where we want to use uh, renewable resources whenever possible, use biologically safe products, uh, protect natural ecosystems and support people's capacity to meet their basic needs. For a truckload for a Gen D company that I just got. We, Go back just a second. Those are the three pillars, economic, ecological, and society. Those are the three pillars of sustainability. And we, we like to use those when we do our, our work. Some of our activities, I a shout out, an early shout out to Liz Hartman. She always tells us how great our annual celebration is when we bring community members from all over. They're typically over a hundred people. Our featured speaker, Speakers this year were our new city manager and our new school district superintendent pre in that era, pre-COVID, who knew in early February. We just yesterday actually had a, a virtual electric vehicle webinar, which if you're really interested, I think I can get you the recording for that. Coming up, our, we're having candidate forums where you'll get to see Melissa again. I think I saw um, maybe some other candidates that, that are here today. Uh, we support businesses. One of the things that Clackamas County does, they have a Leaders in Sustainability certification, and there are many of the businesses out there that have done that. We help the city craft their climate action plan. We do work with the schools, with networking, and support the, the bond measures. We, about two years ago, started an interfaith group of uh, faith organizations. We had a youth event. We have presentations and discussion groups. Repair fairs, which sadly are sort of on the shelf now, but it's a great place to get things fixed instead of trashed. And then partner collaboration with, with organizations like you guys. Here's uh, some of our action teams, economic vitality. That's what Linda Ganzini and I work on. We have schools, energy, natural resources, climate change interfaith, uh, community solar and transportation. Um, here, our, uh, our whole partner list is on our website. I, you might notice this one that's highlighted at the very beginning. <laughs> the um, chamber has been great partner. We, partners, had, being a partner with us is just saying that you care about our community and, and want to help make it a more sustainable uh, community along with us and partner in outreach and maybe uh, projects. So yeah, get involved, be a partner. There's no cost to it. Uh, or you can get connected by signing up for our newsletter right on our website, or you can shoot me a, an email and I can make sure that happens. Be sure to tune in to our candidate forums. We have one coming up next Friday and then on the, on the 14th, the one's for mayoral and one is for city council members. And we're co-hosting that with Respond to Racism respond to racism. It's going to be a great, a great um, event. 
And please feel free to contact us if you have any additional information. I think that's it. I hope I didn't go over my time. Let me see if I can stop sharing here. There, I, there we I, go. You did absolutely perfectly, Dorothy. Thank you so much for putting together the presentation. It was great to see all of the things that you do. I'm a fan of the sustainability network, but I didn't realize how many different venues you were reaching out in. The repair fair, uh, although currently uh, sidelined, is just another great example of how we could all be more sustainable. Um, does anybody have any questions for Dorothy? Dorothy, I have one. Please, Diane. Uh, Dorothy, um, I went to one of the uh, a group meetings at uh, my neighbors, uh, Ellen Steele, um, back pre-COVID days, and I was a little confused because I thought a partner had a, a fee, you know, a membership fee, and I see that it's free. I mean, I'm on your newsletter list. Okay, um, well, Ellen, uh, the levels and the so forth. Okay, so I think you might be confusing the Lake Oswego Sustainability Network with Backyard Habitat. Ellen's no. No? No, no. Although she is a platinum certified backyard habitat. Right. And, yeah. Um, the Lake Oswego Sustainability Network doesn't have levels, doesn't have any part. You just reach out and say, we're interested in, in being a formal partner. We actually partner with organizations that aren't formal partners. So it's, <laughs> it's something, you know, um, uh, in fact, I think Rachel and I, we did some talks about the, how sustainability and historic buildings, uh, they, how, the, how that overlaps. And I, I don't think that you guys were a partner at that particular moment, but then, then became one. So yeah, okay. it's okay. very informal. Um, and the level of involvement that you want to do is, and, it, and as an individual, you can just sign up for our newsletter. And if you have a passion, we try to help connect you with people to make that happen too. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Dorothy. Does anybody else have a question? I have a question. Dorothy, is that flag behind you, is that a Syrian flag? No. Are you looking at these? The Syrian? No, the one on top by, by the binders. No, it's not. It's actually an Iraqi flag. Okay. <laughs> they look similar. All right. <laughs> One of my dear friends um, that I went to graduate school was Iraqi, and we had some event and got little flags, American that's and Iraqi right. flags, and that's from way back when. I'm sort of a hoarder, but <laughs> no, that's <laughs> awesome because I'm Syrian. That's why I was curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, and great eyes, Rami. And any <laughs> So Christopher, I was just going to just say, you know, we are thinking about how to do uh, repair fairs in a safe COVID environment. And so we are working with Clackamas County, one of our partners in that. And um, one of our board members has some great ideas on how we can actually do that. The Adult Community Center and the United Methodist Church have been great organ, uh, great um partners in providing uh, facilities for those events. So hopefully those might, might reappear in the not too distant future. Excellent, we'll, we'll look forward to hearing more from you and the Lake Oswego Sustainability Network. Thank well, just one more, one more thing. I see that another one of our board members popped on here. Mike Purim, do you wanna, in the red sweatshirt, right? And he's one of our board members. He'll be helping with the the um, the candidate forum. He's the the techie back back guy, you know, that's figured out how to give her, give the network a YouTube channel, and and so that's all all very exciting. So I hope you're able to join for that too, and reach out if you want to get our newsletters are 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 monthly, then action alerts periodically. We won't spam your inbox. Perfect. We all need that technical backbone. Mike, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. I'm Mike Parham. I am on the board of LOSN. It's not just Dorothy, I promise. Um, I'm also kind of the resident IT nerd. Um, so I'm going to be helping run the, the Zoom back end of our webinars uh, this month for, uh, for the candidates. Uh, I'm also a member of the chamber through my own business, Contributed Systems, which is a software company. Um, but uh, I don't. I don't do a lot of local business. My software is sold throughout the world, so there's 
there's not much uh, call for me to network with all the small businesses here in town um, as my customers are usually fortune 500 fortune 100 companies instead um, but that's all about me i'll turn it over to to y'all oh christopher can i do one more quick shout out absolutely i see my my fellow rower Kim Clifton, and she often brings to our rowing regattas amazing food. So if you haven't had her um, cater an event, think about it. The Rice Krispie snacks are particularly good, but you know, she does much, much more formal things than that. Nice to see you, Kim. I couldn't agree more. The amazing Kim Clifton, wave your hands just so everybody sees you, Kim. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, one of our candidates for the city council, Melissa Fireside. Would you come off mute and tell us about yourself? Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Um, so my name is Melissa Fireside. I uh, am a professor and a small business owner here in Lake Oswego. I'm actually an industrial and organizational psychologist. So I do a lot of strategic management and, um, you know, when everything happened with COVID, I actually sort of reinvented myself and started working in the PPE industry, which was interesting, <laughs> um, adapting to that and sort of um, just going through it. So um, as a small business owner, I can empathize with all of you. It's been a very challenging time indeed. Um, I wanted to just say really quickly what the chamber had meant to me growing up. When I was quite young, my father was a small business owner too. He owned uh, used car dealerships and he got very ill with terminal cancer when I was about eight years old. And um, the chamber was a very active part of our life just because he was a small business owner and everything. And I will tell you that during that time, the chamber rallied around us and we had accountants and people from the business community would stop by our house and like bring us flowers or food if they were, you know, uh, owned restaurants or um, you know, just really rallied around myself and my family, and it really made a huge difference. And I, um, you know, I hope that you all have that experience here, and we work together to build community. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited to do Leadership Lake Oswego now, um, and just all of that. So um, I think the Chamber adds so much value to our community, and I'm just really excited to be here. And I thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say hi. And I see Rachel there too. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Who thought we would be campaigning in COVID, right? What is that? <laughs> Um, we've never met each other, so um, it's nice to see you. But anyway, I appreciate you letting me hop on and say good morning. And uh, yeah, um, you can learn more about me um, at uh, fireside2020.com or just shoot me an email. I'd love to network with you and um, hopefully we'll get to meet each other sometime in the future in person. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Melissa. We appreciate you being here and we appreciate you running for city council. I think that uh, all of our candidates this year. Um, are uh, fantastic and clearly civic minded because once again, if you'd remind me what you guys get paid for doing this. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, it's not about that, right? Um, <clears throat> obviously we're so fortunate to have people who care about Lake Oswego and want to help uh, maintain our community. So thank you for your work. And I think at this point it's appropriate for us to say hello to Liz, bring her back on mic for any chamber announcements. Good morning. It's great to see everybody this morning. And Melissa, go ahead and put your contact information in the chat. And anybody who wants to put your business information, please put it in the chat feature. And we will be uh, learning a little more on how to maximize getting the word out on who has been attending networking. The chamber, our chamber, has signed up for multi-chamber networking which is being led through the Wilsonville Chamber, and we're doing a trial with them for three months. The next one is on October 21st. You need to sign up the day before because they assign you to different groups. It's a great way to see what businesses are doing in other parts of our city area, and uh, your chamber membership makes it free to you. So please take advantage of that this month. It's kind of fun to go on there. In other news, the flower baskets are coming down this week, and we have had a great season of flower baskets this year. And want to let you know that if you know someone who hasn't signed up for Leadership Lake Oswego yet, that there is still time. Please do it by uh, before the 15th, probably by the 11th would be best so we can get everything put together. They won't be the only ones signing up because we have a number of people who have joined us after 
the September start, and we have some great speakers coming up. And this is going to be a different year. It's only two and a half hours a month, but there's also a little bit extra reading material. And Dr. Porach has agreed to help any of our students who are coming along. So it's like having your own, your own personal uh, guide to go along through your leadership experience. And I want to let you know one more thing. We had a, a small meeting a couple weeks ago with some of the local restaurants, and we're going to be looking at some community outreach to help our community know how to help our restaurants through these really interesting times. Because once the weather changes in November, there's going to be less outdoor dining, and we're going to have to help inform our citizens how to support our restaurants. And we are looking at a little campaign. Look, and if any of you want to help on this, it'll be through social media. And we're kind of still working on the the um, technicals on it. And I hear drilling in the background here, so I hope you're not hearing that. With that, please contact me if you want to help on any of these projects that are coming up. And look forward to working with our new president, Christopher Boyer. Thank you. So, so does that mean we're about to split into groups or, or are we moving on to shout outs? What are we doing first, Liz? Uh, why don't we do shout outs and then we'll move into groups. Fantastic. Does anybody have a shout out? It looks like Stephanie's got her hand up. Please come off mute. Good morning, everybody. And my shout out is for um, back in line chiropractic and wellness. Um, I've been seeing uh, Dr. Rami for chiropractic work, um, and it's definitely helping with my shoulder. I, as many of you might remember, I had shoulder surgery a year ago in June, um, but I do think I probably redamaged some or just tore new muscles. Anyway, been seeing him. It's awesome. But what's really cool is he also referred me to his fitness and nutrition gal, Cassie. And Cassie actually also makes house calls. And so she willingly came to my home. And what was really cool about that is because she said, you know, if we go into your environment, we see what you have to work with and I can help, you know, uh, guide you to dealing with uh, any issues in your house or what kind of equipment you might already have. She definitely kicked my hiney, and I'm really grateful. That's in a good way, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, and uh, just they've been an awesome team for me. So I highly recommend any um, physical th things that you guys need. I let Dr. Rami tell more about his specifics, but the fitness coaching alone, nutrition side of it was just exactly what I needed. So very grateful. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that, Stephanie. Does anybody else have a shout out before we break into groups? I have a shout out. Anastasia, I uh, wanted to thank uh, Stephen Quick, uh, SQ Merchants. He sent me quite a bit of information and we talked on the phone about merchant services and especially with uh, CBD cannabis uh, business owners so that I could share that with other folks. Um, business clients. He also sent some tchotchkes, uh, like uh, eyeglass cleaners, and a lot. They, they, I shared them with my office, and they were gone within like two hours. Uh, and that's that's an office that is not really staffed right now because of uh, COVID. And then also, I want to shout out to Lucid Dog Training, Chris and Katie. They are helping me with a new puppy, and. Uh, trying to keep her from uh, chewing up everything and instead distracting her with proper chew toys. And uh, also not chewing the couch. They said, give me like get that bitter apple spray or whatever, and that's helped my couch. So, thank you. Who knew? I have a shout out. Does that count? Megan, your shout outs always count. This is Megan Stilson from Costco Wholesale, everybody. <laughs> All right, so I have to keep my mask on. Sorry, guys. So Megan Stilson, Costco Wholesale. My shout out is to Laura from Banner Bank. Many times I've called her with questions about my Banner Bank uh, questions. She's always so helpful, so always willing to pick up her phone. Um, so, and she also got me the code for today as well because she was the first person I thought of um, other than the chamber and then I emailed Liz today. So I missed you all. I'm hoping to get back into this. 
Um, and I appreciate all your efforts of seeing me and shouting out me at the counter. I do not want to be a glorified refunder the rest of my life, but uh, if that's what's needed to be to do to business, I will take care of it. If you guys need anything from Costco, please shout out or reach out to me. You all know my information. Make it a great day. <laughs> Thank you so much, Megan. I believe Diane had a shout out as well. Did the wrong way. Yes, um, I my shout out is for uh, Julia and also for the chamber staff, Liz, and the um, the whole committee, that our, our leadership team of officers and so on, because they were thrown into a very challenging situation back in February at very short notice. I, um, I can sympathize and empathize with that because I found myself, when I was still president of the Lake Oswego Lions, in that same situation. And all of a sudden, how do we reach out to people? How do we keep things going? How do we... How do we basically do all our communication that normally uh, is, is that person-to-person -person contact and isn't all of a sudden and get that started? And I really think the team that has done that for Lake Oswego has done a fantastic job uh, and has risen to the challenges that, that have faced it. So thank you. Absolutely, Diane. Thank you so much for saying so. I echo your sentiment. Julia and Liz and, and everybody has done a fantastic job. Um, I think that sometimes we don't always communicate because we think we have to get it right, but this is an unprecedented time for people. And so just the fact that we've kept it going and, and continued this avenue for people to continue to connect, uh, even with our technical hiccups and all the things along the way, everybody's showing up and earnestly involved in assisting one another. And I think that's the important part. Do we have any last shout outs before we head into a, a breakout session? Christopher? Yes. Lynn Brokaw here. Yes. I, can I do a shout out that's not really a shout out? You can. <laughs> you guys uh, uh, and uh, Liz have mentioned the restaurant program that you got going. And I just want to mention that uh, this is Lake Oswego Meals on Wheels Month. And we'd love to have uh, all you, uh, all of you, to participate with to the restaurant, well, with the restaurants, and then of course, hopefully, donate to Lake Oswego Mills and Wheels program. And can I mention all the restaurants? And I'm hoping all of them are members of the chamber. Uh, but we have a great uh, number of participating. And if you know any restaurants that you're familiar with, we'd like to have you um, talk to them and see if they'd be willing to participate too. But we're starting with Nicoletta's. They're really gung-ho and ready to go. Goo Banks and Babaka Hen Joe just does a great job of helping us out there. We have Holy Taco, Jefe. We have, um, let's see, what, what else? Um, Dino's, definitely got to mention Dino's. They're so, they're so great to, and to helping us out. And um, uh, I know I'm missing out on a couple of different restaurants. But uh, we're just really got a great uh, number of participants this year, and we hopefully all of you can attend those restaurants, help them out, and help us out. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you, Lynn. <clears throat> Liz, are we ready for our breakout sessions? We are ready. You're going to go into the atmosphere now and into your break room for seven minutes. Please assign somebody to be your um to be your facilitator and somebody to um somebody to report back so we'll be back in seven minutes okay